Hi Luigi fans, uh, thanks for clicking this video. Um, so yeah, I'm here at Club Sega in Akihabara. Um, I was actually here a couple of weeks ago. Um, if you saw the video that I did for the Mario and Sonic at the Olympics Arcade Edition uh, location test thing, the name was shortened that. But anyway, it was, uh, it was just there behind me. Well, obviously it's gone now. That was just for a couple of days. Um, but I'm here today to play the new uh, Luigi's Mansion arcade. Uh, very exciting. Um, maybe earlier this year, 2005, there were some like leaks um, and a pictures of a very small location test somewhere. It wasn't here. And um, now I'm finally the final release is out and I'm here to check it out. So let's go inside and see how it works. Here we go. Let's check out a few other arcades before we get there. Here's Monster Hunter Spirits. I guess it's Monster Hunter for babies. There's Tekken 7. I wouldn't even dare challenge those guys. And here is a Pokémon Tournament. I have no idea who all these people are. Maybe they're famous, who knows. This one's called Border Street Scramble and it's in the uh, smoking area, so you have to smoke here, it's the law, apparently. Ah, cool, it looks like a virtual on kind of thing. Almost at the fifth floor now. And apparently there's Mario Kart Arcade on this as well, so I have to avoid that. No one good looks good doing dancing games, no matter how good you are. Operation Ghost, that was on the Wii, I remember that. There's a Star Wars, Battle Port, pretty cool. Here's Puzzle and Dragons arcade, uh, Puzzle and Dragons Battle Tournament. That's why you come to the arcade, isn't it? To play smartphone games. That you can download for free. The Regent's Mansion Arcade! Okay, so pretty cool inside actually, I like it. Um, Got some ghost portraits on the side, very cool. Another the door frame. There's toes. Ghost, very cool. And here's the controller. Well, there's the, uh, the Baltic Ghost. Pretend that this is the controller. I guess it's like an IR sensor on there. <laughs> Only one button. And there's one or two more. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, the ghosts were coming kind of thick and thin at the end there, like um, thick and fast. That's the expression, right? Anyway, there were a lot of ghosts. Um, it's kind of like the 3DS game, um, the kind of the most annoying part of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon or Luigi Mansion 2, as it's called here, was that the ghosts kind of surround you and you kind of have too many ghosts to handle at the same time, and you have to kind of let go of sucking at one ghost to get another ghost. And, try and get them all in the same stream. It's kind of the same thing going on there. It's a little bit harder in first person, but um, 
the gameplay, amazingly, was pretty much the same as the 3DS game. Um, you know, you flashlight, you hold down the, the top button to do the flashlight, and then you hold the trigger button to um, suck the ghost, and then you just move it left and right. Almost like a Wii pointer type motion. So it's kind of like a 3DS game in design, but Wii motion control, but it, the graphics are kind of like, I don't know, up res 3DS. Not quite Wii U standard, but anyway, it looks okay. It looks okay. It's very blocky. Obviously, the, they haven't uh, redone the model, but, you know, but it's an arcade game. It's, you know, it's just um, it could have been better in co-op, maybe. Uh, maybe you could have handled the ghost better if I had um, someone with me today, but you know, I was just by myself, so it was a bit hard. I was playing out on medium. Maybe I should have started off on easy, um, just for the, <laughs> just to show off the game at first. But anyway. It's good fun. I really like it. Um, uh, it's surprising. It works surprisingly well. It's not okay. Um, so yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching and uh, keep it locked on Family Complicated, my channel, for more videos about uh, Japan, Akihabara, and video games, and Japan, and stuff like that. Uh, thank you. Peace out.